Welcome to part 4 of lecture 7 of this Python tutorial series. Topic of today's session is nested function also called as inner function. Overall goal of our tutorial series is to learn Python by implementation. Today we will understand nested functions. Let's take one example. We are defining a outer function def outer. Inside this outer function We print a statement that it is outer. In the same block of the outer function, we define a new function by def keyword, def definition. The inner function name is inner colon and we print a statement called as inner. end the inner function and the before ending the outer function we have to call inner function this has to be done so that inner function should be invoked close the outer function now you have defined a function outer which has nested function as inner you call the outer function when you call the outer function, control is transferred from the called for him to the outer function. Then print statement is executed that it is outer. Then this block is skipped because you haven't called inner function. So this block will not be executed. These two lines. When you reach the last line of this definition outer function, it calls inner. Control transfer from inner to inner function and you then, then print inner what is printed outer and inner this function is not explicitly returning any value means implicitly it is returning none why we write inner function to provide the functionality called as encapsulation means the function which is defined inside the outer function cannot be accessed directly it, if you have to access the inner function, you have to call the outer function, then only you can access inner function. For example, if I call the inner function directly, it will give me an error that inner function is not defined. But if I want to run the functionality of inner function, I call the outer function, then I can execute inner function. We take one more example wherein we define outer function with parameter and inner function with parameter and see the execution. Def function 1. This is the outer function. We are passing a parameter as text to function 1. And inside function 1, we are defining an inner function, function 2. And it also has a parameter which is text what it is doing it is building a one new string which is a combination of text dot upper as t is a string object we can call a method upper plus can extend this with the space now what you are doing you are returning this string using return statement return we are returning from inner function str1 from outer function we have to call this inner function we are calling function this function 2 will return a string therefore that is to be stored in a variable we are storing an str2 variable which will be a string object and we are calling function 2 and inside this function 1 we have string inside which variable text variable string is stored in str2 we call the function it returns a string which is capitalized and stored in str2 therefore we are returning str2 click on the cell press shift enter okay 
now we check the implementation of this function we call the outer function function one we we'll pass a string which is uh, a lower case string this function this function executes it returns a string so that is to be stored somewhere so we directly print it print function 1 so it is returning a value what is done function 1 has a argument actual argument character 1 it is passed to function 1 it is stored in text text function 2 is not executed because it is not called here function 2 is called and text is passed paragda 1 is passed it is stored in ts paragda 1 it is converted into uppercase then we return the string it is written and stored in str2 and str2 is written it str2 comes here and we directly print it thanks for watching do hit the subscribe button if you like the content you uh, comments are invited if you want any modification in the lecture delivery you can post in the comment box thank you